In Engineering Systems and Design, ESD, we focus on services and systems. When you think of an engineering system, think perhaps of a theme park uh, or an airport. Uh, an airport is a great example of an engineering system because it is a system of systems. Uh, the air traffic controllers are an organization that provides navigation services. Uh, the airport provides the gates and other ancillary services. Uh, the baggage handling companies provide baggage services. Uh, Customs and Immigration is yet another organization uh, that uh, is integrated into the airport. All of these organizations operate to meet their own goals, but they also have to work together to provide a high volume of passengers with safe, reliable, economical, and hopefully pleasant air travel experience. What you will be doing and learning in the ESD pillar can be organized into three activities, design, analyze, and optimize. The students get fascinated when they see a mathematically sound explanation for this phenomena, popularly referred as inspection paradox, and they see how, they, how this concept can be profoundly uh, applied in improving the quality of service in large-scale systems like server farms or transportation systems, etc. Students at ESD can take basically one of five focus tracks. I think these are very exciting. So let me just tell you what these tracks are. So the first is business analytics and operations research. The second is supply chain and logistics. The third is financial services. The fourth is urban infrastructure. And just this year, we have started something in aviation. The day and age we live in is, uh, is what I call a data-driven world. Decisions these days are based primarily on data, not based on gut feel or intuition. So it is fair to say that uh, the university, and specifically the pillar, trains students to be industry ready to get to great jobs, um, high paid, but highly recognized, highly sought, uh, with interesting challenges, interesting, uh, in interesting positions, uh, and future ready. In the aviation focus track, we, we actually offer to the students uh, the opportunity to, to learn uh, and to understand better the complexities of an airport system. Uh, so they, specifically, they will learn how to apply optimization, simulation, data analytics in order to make decisions in the airport environment. The thing that I really enjoy about ESD is how it's had a profound impact on the way that I think and the way that I deal with problems. And what I mean by this is that prior to taking this course, I had a lot of issues with dealing with ambiguous problems. Somebody would say, hey, can you do this? And I would think, how do I even start? And I'd be paralyzed. But now it's quite simple. I know exactly what to do. I know how to decompose it into subsystems, see what goals I want, how to set those objectives, and how to chart a path effectively from here to achieving those goals. I have uh, two of the students working on the op solutions. The, uh, the common feedback is they are very self-driven, uh, full of initiative, very energetic to deliver. And they are the students that you can show them with uh, problems and without much guidance, they sort their way out, giving many creative ideas to look things in a different perspective, and thereby um, developing the or finishing the projects uh, on time. This is our first year working with the SUTD students under the DBA module, and I must say the experience has been nothing short of delightful. I'm pleasantly surprised by the resourcefulness, the professionalism, and not just the hard skills, but the soft skills of the students. The, number one, they are innovative. Number two, they always have a very, take a very practical approach in solving the issue. Would you be keen to hire the ESD students? Yes, definitely, we will be happy to do so. I would say that this project has been an incredibly fulfilling experience for us as well because not only did we learn the technical skills to do with graph convolutional networks, right? we also picked up a unique set of skills that are very important for client-facing interaction. Our team has learned a lot from the data and business analytics course from ESD. So we have learned a lot of data analytics tools, for example, SQL, RStudio, and we also have learned financial analysis tools such as DuPont analysis. But most importantly, we were given the opportunity to work with uh, real-life industries outside. What we should be as students in, is to learn how to uh, interact with the whole team, how to manage people, how to bring many fields together and be, well, from a 
a sort of a managerial point of view, being able to connect and draw people together. So I think that's where our niche is at, and, and I think that's what ESD trains us to do as well. In addition to all the data analytics and optimization, it's also how to be a consultant, how to be a team leader. This is what I really appreciate because it's also beyond what we learn in the coursework. We get to interact with uh, corporates, we get to in interact with executives in big companies, which also helps us to improve on our communication and negotiation skills, the soft skills that are required very much in the 21st century.